Dynamics marketing has grown significantly over the last five years. Microsoft have dedicated huge resources into building a platform that supports businesses to deliver creative marketing journeys, tight alignment with sales teams, powerful reporting data, and more. Dynamics Marketing began with the Outbound module, focusing on delivering unique marketing campaigns, which include multiple channels that connect seamlessly and uses existing CRM data. In 2021, Microsoft introduced a new module, Real-Time Marketing. At first glance, it appears to have many of the same features and functionality of Outbound. And that is true, there is plenty of overlap, but there are key differences which we'll explore. So what do they both do? Well, Real-Time Marketing is a scalable platform that allows you to engage with customers at specific moments. It was designed for instant communications based on a large toolbox of triggers. These are configured inside a customer journey and your business can choose between emails, SMS or device notifications. There are plenty of templates to choose from, but you can even build your own. Here's an example of where real-time marketing excels. Let's say you run an e-commerce website and you want to alert the prospective customer that they've left their basket full but haven't committed to a purchase yet. Real-time marketing can send out a reminder to the specific contact, probing them to make that final step. This is where real-time thrives and which will be difficult to achieve in Outbound, which focuses on sending email campaigns to curated audiences. So as we explore these features, keep in mind, yes, you can perform many of the actions in both modules, but depending on what you're trying to achieve, it's best to use the right module for the job. Firstly, let's look at the underlying technology that powers both real-time and outbound. Both modules use the Dataverse to look at your business data, keeping information aligned across all of the core Dynamics applications, such as sales or customer service. Real-time is built on a newer technology that will integrate with other services and technologies more intuitively, such as the upcoming Customer Insights app. Microsoft also planned to eventually bring over all of the missing features that exist in Outbound into real time, and therefore view the module as the future of Dynamics Marketing. A transition plan is in place for businesses to think about migrating, which I will provide a link in the description below. So let's look at some of the feature differences. Whilst Microsoft continue to develop both modules for now, they are particularly focused on filling the gaps that exist in real time. Currently, you can't use social posting in real time, a very useful tool for businesses to schedule, plan social content across multiple channels and execute strategies. In addition, marketers will discover marketing pages is missing in real time. Possessing the capability to deploy creative landing pages Quickly, that integrate with forms, portals, and can be used as part of a journey is powerful and will be necessary for businesses to make that future transition from outbound. Another component that isn't fully developed yet is templates. In outbound, you can create a template for segments, customer journeys, forms, pages, and more. But these are either unavailable in real time or face other challenges. For example, Form templates can only be accessed when you create a new form and is also missing most of the Microsoft ready-made templates that exist in Outbound. But let's look at some of the functionality real-time excels at. Firstly, you can set up SMS and push notifications to devices. To do this, you have to perform a setup and leverage an external service. This is quite easy to do with a quick setup wizard whereby you can choose from InfoBip Link, Telesign, or Twilio. Push notifications have their own configuration. It requires an existing mobile application on the Google or Apple stores, and then setting up keys and certificates to authenticate and verify. You can create templates for both channels and has a useful preview option for viewing the look and feel of your communications, with the possibility to perform test sends and check contents for errors. It's also possible to build 
your own channel, such as WhatsApp, but this needs some development resource involvement. As you build your journey, you can decide which channel is best for that scenario, or even leverage AI to choose the optimal path on a contact by contact basis. In addition, real time marketing possesses an enhanced interface and proves on the offerings of Outbound. Building a segment is much easier with a more prominent and powerful query assist system for building audiences. Real time uses Copilot the new AI engine from Microsoft to quickly identify who you're trying to target from a text-based query input. Do you want to email all your contacts from a city? Go ahead, just ask Copilot and it will provide you with suggested options. In addition, you can view which contacts will be included in your segment instantly, whereas in Outbound, you would have to go through the go live process. You can also send communications to leads, which was never possible in the Outbound module a huge benefit for organizations who have their communication processes set up to deliver in this way. Not having the templates available, like in Outbound, is a big miss, but let's assume that this will be available further down the roadmap. Customer journeys have been given a refresh as well, and makes it clearer from the creation wizard if you want a one-time journey, a repeating journey, or a one-time journey, but only for new contacts in the segment. This was never particularly clear in Outbound, so this should be a welcomed improvement. A new useful function in Journeys is Goals. At each step in the process, you can define what you would like to achieve. You can use a drop-down menu to choose if you want to increase loyalty, drive a purchase, and so on, and then choose the conditions of when that goal is met by choosing a trigger, and the required number of people to meet that criteria. Microsoft have provided a few goal options to get you started, but you can quickly create your own. It then provides a helpful text generated summary of the goal based on your choice. This can then be fed into analytics and insights to see performance across all your activities to compare and contrast. If this sounds important, we would recommend using these journeys over the outbound marketing module offering. Overall, the journey interface is similar to the outbound with the biggest difference of a pop-up window when adding a activity and the flow visualization flowing vertically. Microsoft claims their feedback from marketers was more user-friendly, efficient and natural. Let's move on and look at what the triggers are in real-time marketing. This new functionality is the cornerstone of real time. It empowers organizations to reach customers across multiple touch points, growing relationships from prospects through sales and support. Whilst Outbound specializes in planned email campaigns, real time takes a different approach by responding every time prospects and customers engage with your business. Microsoft provide 50 triggers to help you get you started, such as when a cut has been abandoned, a contact has been created, a form submitted, or you've received a text response. You can create your own when a record related to a contact has been created or updated. You can even create triggers when a customer has interacted with your website or app. It uses a helpful, simplified trigger wizard, which outputs a code snippet to integrate with your app, whereby after your developers can have fun doing the next steps with the provided instructions. If you have a business requirement to respond with a communication or follow a process where a customer engages with you, real time is the perfect tool for you. If instead you are more focused on planned marketing campaigns and you operate on the outbound module already, you may want to stay where you are for the time being. Email creation is different in real time. It offers an interface for producing dynamic conditional content whereby contacts will see email content if predetermined conditions are met. In Outbound, this has to be coded manually, which can be difficult, time consuming, and requires further testing. A future feature coming to real time, which is currently in preview, is AI generative content, where Microsoft Copilot will provide ideas and email copy tailored to your contacts and goals. An important component to compare between the modules is insights and analytics. 
Recently, Realtime was updated with a new dashboard with goal-oriented insights. Yes, you can set up your own goals using triggers and set thresholds. A welcome feature for marketers to customize their own objectives. As Outbound is not oriented around triggers, it's unlikely we'll see this introduced for this module. You can also have refresh snapshots of journeys and channel performance produced by Power BI. Outbound has its own dashboards and you can also make your own, but the visualization by default is displayed differently and you may prefer one or the other based on personal preference or what you need. You can also view insights on specific contact. These are split between the two modules and they look at similar metrics, but their presentations are different. I would like to see the timeline visual that exists in Outbound be introduced in real time down the roadmap. But overall, my preference is real time as it has a more intuitive snapshot of contact insights. So in conclusion, Outbound Marketing got off to a head start with real time only introduced as of 2021. But since then, Microsoft has invested plenty of resource into making it a unique proposition for organizations who need to have more regular communication touch points with their customers and other stakeholders. Outbound, however, is a better option for businesses who still prefer more traditional marketing activities, such as a multi-step email campaign or capturing leads from a creative landing page. Microsoft have been clear with recent roadmaps and how they've allocated more attention to real time that they see this as the future, even if it's not quite ready for today. So you're probably wondering, what should I use? As always, that depends. If you currently perform more traditional marketing activities, it would be wise to stick with Outbound, with a view to start training on real time. So when you're ready to make the final step, it will be seamless. Microsoft has stated that unless there is a feature that isn't in real time, you should use this module, as it will be the future of Dynamics. It would integrate better with new AI features and new products such as the new Customer Insights app. And eventually, Outbound will no longer receive new features. Whilst I agree with this logic, it's important to stress that quite a few capabilities are currently unavailable today. But in the medium term, I think this will be resolved. There is no reason you can't use both at the same time and get the best of both worlds with the only drawback of having to flick between the two different systems and maintain two different sets of insights and marketing records. But if needs must, it's probably the best option. Microsoft have also stated that from September 2023, new marketing environments will only have access to the real-time marketing module. So I strongly suspect that remaining outbound features will be migrated over by then, at least for new businesses. Hopefully you found this comparison informative and can help guide you on how to proceed with your marketing strategies in the coming months. I will provide some follow-up literature in the description below for your reference. Thank you very much for watching.